Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rafal and today we're working on iPhone 6s Plus that came here for a uh, no charge issue. Um, I did replace the TriStar on it, first thing you do, and there was still no change. I poked around the TriStar and I found there was a short on the capacitor. Uh, it was PP3V0 TriStar. Uh, I removed all the capacitors on the line and removed the TriStar and the short was still there, uh, a direct short. And the last thing that could be the issue is unfortunately the PMIC. So on this video I'm going to record uh, replacing the PMIC and hopefully that will fix the issue. Alright so the first thing uh, I'm going to use this uh, tool that I unboxed in the recent video. It's really cool to remove the underfill or overfill. So what I'm going to do, uh, here's our PMIC. You see all this uh, gooey uh, around it. Um, I'm going to have to scrape that off around the um, PMIC and then I will also remove this cap so I have some space to actually lift the PMIC. So first uh, I will use a little bit of heat to scrape off the um, underfill. Take some time to clean the chip around and you have to go all the way down to really separate the chip, the PMIC from all these capacitors because otherwise if you're going to try to lift the PMIC it's going to take all of these caps with it and that will be a nightmare to clean up so it's better to spend more time cleaning it. Super tough stuff. Now, sometimes what I noticed adding flux somehow helps soften that uh, underfill. So let's try that. Okay, so I got this as clean as I, as I could. Uh, the razor goes through all these gaps. I couldn't get here and here, it's pretty tight. This capacitor got a little bit loose already. Um, so I'm just gonna desolder it and then you will see I'll grab the one corner over here with this hook here. So once I remove this, I'll grab the hook, hit the PMIC and just pull it this way and if I get lucky the whole PMIC will just lift off and hopefully be clean um, if not if it's gonna be a pain in the ass then we're gonna have to crush it I'm also hoping the Sony camera will not shut off on me it doesn't like to shoot 4k for too long I'm just going to remove this cap and place it simply safe. A bit more flux on the edges. Eventually, I will see that. Uh, flux just like popping on from underneath Just making sure the whole PMIC is warm enough to lift because I'm gonna have to pull here a little bit Ok 
Okay. like we are clean here. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So right now I'm going to clean this immediately. It's better to clean the pads when the board is still uh, warm. And then we're gonna uh, check if that PPV, PPTV0 TriStar is still uh, shorted. for this one. Any more flux to make this more malleable. Okay, go. Are we gonna be able to pick it up? Don't get stuck there. So I'm gonna install a uh, bigger tip that you get a little bit hotter, bigger surface to actually grab that solder. Bam, you see? Beautiful. So, ZXW shows that it's this pin over here. Oh crap. And it's still shorted. Ooh, that means there is a short in the line itself on the board. Yep. Okay. So that line is definitely shorted. What I'm planning to do now is remove this pad, clean this area here a little bit. So I can run a jumper wire here and let it go either this way or the other way. And I'm gonna run it down to uh, under the TriStar. So I'm also gonna remove this pad and um, that should do it. Made some space here. Here's the uh, pad. Here's the via. So I'm going to try to just make a cut here and try to pull just that pad. Actually, you could probably lift it this way. I'm just going to put a little bit on the napkin here and use my tweezers. Just a little bit on the tweezer, and uh, this might be a little bit too much. If it's too much, it's okay. I can just um, remove it once it cures, and we're gonna cure with UV light. So this is gonna be something like this. I'm gonna put some UV conformal coating here. And now that this uh, mask is a little bit hardened, I'm going to clean off here on the pads, at least as much as I can. I'm just going to show you a little bit because this is kind of risky. 
to deal with one eye on the microscope. Well, maybe it's not that bad. I'm not too worried about this over here. Um, I just want this to be secured here and I'll just scrape off a little bit on the top just so there's this copper so you can grab the ball once you put the PMIC here here's the situation uh, here's the cable I cleaned this up I also cleaned up the glue as much as I could around the PMIC and got rid of the bigger balls that's the still left so now let's route this wire here because we have to now run this wire from you know this pad here right over here to this pin here so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna run it this way since I already made a hole here and I'm thinking about just like fishing this through over here Pushing this through. Going down there. It goes through here. And then we're going to make a turn. Get into surgeon mode. Turn here. Something like this. So I think I'm gonna have something like this going on. This this cap is going here. So I'm thinking maybe I could just either solder to this cap and then got, get rid of this uh, via underneath this uh, pad. At least I'm hoping. Let's check if there's a via there. So I'm just gonna cut this trace. Disconnecting this pad from the rest of the line. Okay, I think we got it. Disconnect it from the pad. Let's put some alcohol, make it easier to see. And you can see there's that break. Okay. So I disconnected the pads. So this is one, there's no short. And there's the short. So most likely the via is like underneath this pad here. So what I'm gonna do, I disconnected this here, made a bigger gap. Hopefully you can see that. And then what I'm going to do is run a wire from this here. I'll put this capacitor over here and I'll put a small capacitor over here because this is the other ground. So these two caps are going to be like this and then the wire is going to go underneath the TriStar. And that should work. So you can see here I did um, put the caps back and this one has to be a little bit crooked because I want to make more room for this wire to run here. And for now, I'm just going to also um, cover this pad and I will dip this wire. Let's put some UV on it. So after this mask kind of solidified, the cable is still loose, but I'm just not now going to solder this to this cap. And that will definitely help hold it in place. Okay. Just gonna cut it go over here. There's some solder on the tip. Let's, let's clean this with alcohol. So this is holding to this pad, going this way, through this hole all the way to under PMIC. So let's put new TriStar first. Applying some flux. And now we're going to solder uh, a brand new PMIC. Um, I'm guessing the other one could be still potentially good, but just to remove all the risk, 
let's just put a new one and then um, I'll also put this cap back when we were flowing the PMIC so this is kind of the most um, I would say kind of the most difficult part to align there's so many of uh, these pads they're small and we cannot cross them if we're gonna cross them we turn it on it might just fry the CPU or other stuff here's our new PMIC I've put this cap here it's loose I'm not gonna solder it I'm just gonna use the hot air to flow it in I'm going to add some flux across everything here I do not want it to swim but I definitely will have enough of it and right now I'm just going to like do this it's a pretty big chip <laughs> I feel pretty confident that I did line up the PMIC as good as I could. It looks pretty centered. It was pretty tight here and here when I was removing the glue and that kind of reflects how it was. I'm putting this cap here. We'll see if it will actually sit in its spot. So just let's just reflow it. I'm gonna start slow. Getting some action. I don't want the flux to start bubbling too hard to move that chip. I think I can see the chip start moving. That cap just jumped in its spot, and I think the PMIC is also uh, started moving small movements when I shift the hot air so I'm just gonna leave it and see how that looks like all right so this is how the board looks like after replacing the PMIC just to top it off I had a VCC main short after uh, installing the new PMIC luckily it was just a, a cap uh, next to, to next to PMIC so I got rid of that one so let's plug the charge port then the battery and hopefully you can see it sorry it's upside down but hopefully we'll see some action point two nine point two eight actually looks okay three two looks like it's gonna boot or not Not good. So it stays at 0.32. Okay, so some time has passed um, since that recording. Uh, I did try a different PMIC, different TriStar. I looked around, and then when I was doing the uh, editing the video, I saw that the bracket, uh, the CPU bracket, was uh, re unsoldered. Uh, so who knows? Maybe the SD. There's a short on SD RAM or CPU itself. Um, although I was measuring the um, all the CPU lines and stuff and nothing seems out of the norm so so that'll be all this was a pretty long video uh, hit that like button subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you later in the next video